All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. Just got finished playing. Went to Chick-fil-A. Yes, with my vest and body armor on. And I went to the playground with my vest and body armor on. And uh, for the most part, nobody really cared. If anything, uh, I left the, I took out the, the gimbal. I took off the gimbal, uh, you know, and, and the camera. And if anything, people were looking more at my chest mount on the vest than, than the actual vest itself. So they're, they're, they're looking at that going, God, what is that? What is it? That guy has a chest mount? So people are all distracted by the chest mount than actually, oh, sorry, got my seatbelt. Than actually being distracted by the vest itself, which I thought was funny. All right. But other than that, I mean, no, no, very, very normal. Especially what I was wearing. I'm wearing a, a hat that is high visibility with reflectors on it. I'm wearing the the reflective high visibility buff on my neck. So wow. People are driving pretty aggressive. This is like a 30 a 30 mile an hour uh, road here. Person can't wait taking risk. Anyways, got that on camera. Get that person. So, yeah, wearing, wearing a buff. Um, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go like all outlandish, I wouldn't say I'm outlandish, but if you're gonna go all out like this, then You know, you might as well just go full blown, go full retard, as I like to say, and uh, just go for it. I mean, it's only weird if you think it's weird. Otherwise, it's normal. And you know what is normal? What is normal, right? Man, but there's a lot of things. As a matter of fact, let me tell you something. Normal is mediocre. What is that? Is that a... What's, is that a deer? That's a deer crossing the road. You see that? Did you just see that? That's a deer. Deer just crossed the road in front of me. Interesting. Okay. I mean... Alright. Did you see that? I'm pretty sure you saw that. A deer crossed the road. Okay. Anyways, what, what is normal? Normal is mediocrity. Normal is mediocre. Now, I don't, I'm not saying you don't want to be like abnormal. What I'm saying is, if you, if you follow the crowd, you'll get, well, mediocre results. If you follow your own path, if you follow what you think is right, then you'll get the best results for you. How's that? Pretty good? I hope you like that. I like that. So I got this on lock mode just to face this way. And that's what it's doing. So on driving, I think lock mode works. This is probably how I want everything to be done on lock mode. So I could just sit back and relax and just go with it. People are probably looking and saying, what is this guy doing? But that's all right. Again, normal is for mediocre. It's mediocre. Do things that like are, what, what things, no, do things that you want to do, enjoy doing, and uh, what works for you. And this works for me. This works for me. Uh, nothing great about me per se but what I like is the things that I do that make me well happy right like how many people can actually do well I'm sure there's a lot of people that can do what I do 
But do you see him do it? No. Nope. Too embarrassed. Whee! Too embarrassed. Everyone wants to fit in. So you want to be like everybody else. Okay. Well, the average person, average, they say average people like live up to 70, which I, I don't know about that. I think that's skewed upward to make you feel better. I think the average person lives probably before they hit 60. I think that's, that's the median. I bet you that's the median. All right, that's, that's where most people end up passing a right. That's probably the real average. And then, um, you know, you don't want to, well, I guess if you want, I mean, if average works for you, following the crowd, following the crowd works for you, then by all means, you know, do it. But I have to tell you, if I followed the crowd and did what everybody else did, I would be probably at a dead-end job, another dead-end job. People just move from one dead-end job to another dead-end job. Uh, I'd be at a, probably another dead-end job. Probably, what, it's it's 3 o'clock, so I'd still be working in about another hour or so. I'd get off work and I'd be stuck in traffic for about another hour. And then come home exhausted from working for someone else, making somebody else money. And then I, I, I'd be, I'd eat dinner and then go to sleep. I would be, I would literally be rotting away, rotting away, all right, throwing away my life. That's kind of what I think I would be at. That's where I would be at if I was following the crowd, doing what everybody else did. But since I'm not, all I do is make first person, first person point of view perspective videos on YouTube of me riding a bike, driving a car, maybe walking, doing some calisthenics outside or outdoor exercises. Every now and then I got a little hack, tool hack here and there. Do I like making stuff? I do. I like making stuff here and there for a purpose, for a reason. I just don't make stuff like, you know, I just don't like draw a line in a, in a, in a piece of paper and call it art. Uh, although you can, of course we all know, we all know what, what some of that artwork is really used for. It's just to transfer money for the rich, that's all. That's all. That's all it's ever used for. Anyways. Let's see what we've got here. Why is that car just right there in the middle? Not doing anything. Tinted windows all around. It's very suspicious. Anyways. So. We came back from Chick-fil-A, me and my number two. And uh, believe it or not, there was a, a lot of police eat at Chick-fil-A for some reason. Anyways, they all looked at me kind of weird at first, but uh, after a while, everything was normal. That was hot, that was hot. Um, I got the vest on, so I'm a little hot that way. Plus, it was a little hot in the car. So I was sweating, plus I was exercising, doing squats. Increasing the weight, so I am getting stronger. I can tell you that I am getting stronger. So, anyways, uh, wow, pretty much a full day of me wearing a vest. So I woke up in the morning, wore the vest, rode the bike, rode the bike back. I worked out at the fitness center with the body armor. Picked up my child at school with the vest. Now the only difference is I took the I take the gimbal off the vest. But I still have the chest mount because it's just a lot of work to take off the chest mount and put the chest mount back on. Plus, I want to do all these drive-along videos. So, yeah, it's, this is going to be my normal everyday thing. Normal everyday. Normal everyday thing. And uh, so far, nobody has...
come up to me and you say, hey, that that high visibility vest you got on looks kind of, also look like a body armor. Maybe you should, uh, you know, get out of here. No one's, no one's done that. No one's done that. Nobody really says anything anyway. But does it really matter what people think? As long as you're doing something that's right for you and that works for you, isn't that what it really, what really matters? I think so. Anyways, I'm almost, I'm almost headed home. So I will be talking to all of you later. Bye now.